Welcome to part two of my artifact tutorial playthrough. I did the intro last time, so let's get right into it. I assume this is the blue black deck? This is the blue black deck. It looks like the one I played against last time, actually. Your heroes may, may appear to be fragile, but with a little cunning and planning are capable of incredible feats. Sure. Play another complete freeform bot match while learning a few more important rules. Okay, so I mentioned last time that they didn't explain everything I was expecting to, and I guess they were holding it back for part two of the tutorial, which is cool. Um, and this is some kind of control deck, despite the fact that, from what I remember last time, it has a spell that just deals direct damage to the enemy tower. That doesn't seem so good. Okay, and I'm playing against the big tanky heroes I played against last time. Um, I'll try and remember some of the buff spells and probably fail. Right, what have we got? Blah! Deal one piercing damage to each enemy before the action phase. That seems amazing. Oh, hold on. The three most important things to remember. Number one, destroy any two towers to win. Cool, cool. Number two, or destroy the same one twice. Double click any card for a description of what it does. Cleave, siege, condemn, etc. Okay. Can I click creeps? I can. It's a melee creep. I really like the art, actually. It has like a muscular tree dude. That's rad. Um, Alright, what have we here? I can play an untested grunt, which is just a 4-2. 4-4 uh, that deals 4 damage to the enemy tower. That seems good. These are quite aggressive cards. I don't know why I call this a control deck. I guess this is a control card. I guess I want to I wanna play this as early as possible. It's probably quite good that I've got this in my opening hand. Because it's just going to give me permanent benefits. Oh god, those black heroes are so large. <laughs> what the hell. Um, I mean... I probably need to do something reasonably quickly, otherwise I'm going to get run over by beef. At least with this hand. It looks fairly aggressive. This one makes three melee creeps, which I assume are these two fours. So I could, like, spam a pile of them. Uh, I don't really want to play them here, because they'll just go in front of Stan and die, but I can put them in this... Oh no. I need blue heroes. <laughs> in theory, I could put them in that lane. Okay, we'll, we'll play an untested grunt. That seems fine. Ready to prove myself. Bye, one random creep. Um, I guess I'll play this ignite. Can target any lane. Oh, that's cool. Yeah, of course. I can play these in different lanes. And improvements can always target any lane. Okay, that's cool. So I can play them in this lane because it has more creeps. Um, and there's a hero with armor, which I assume piercing damage goes through. Not reduced by armor. Ignore me. Uh, yeah, sweet. Before the action phase, which is before you play cards. Okay, so it's like the start of the turn. Um, if I try and play this. Oh, that's annoying. Can I, like, zoom out? Oh, good. Um, I mean, where I am seems okay in terms of ways of getting rid of Sven, but I think over here is probably better, especially as it'll trigger now. I get an extra action out of it, like this turn. I think. Yep. Stop making me double-click things to read what they do. <laughs> I did already. I did. Okay. That was annoying. Aha! How about the... Still not actually killing this, and I can't play anything, so... Rip me, I guess. Hopefully, this hero will eventually die, though. Well, I have no gold, so that's that. Didn't kill anything. Huh. I could try and win this lane. If I play a lot of creeps over here like because i can play the dimensional portal or i can play them over here which is where the improvement is and try and use that to to contest 
I just hope this doesn't end up in front of the big dude. Oh my goodness. Uh, get three gold after the combat phase. That seems amazing. Let's do that. Take it. It's a gift. Probably better to get that done early than the four damage card. Although, repeated damage to the tower on a 4-4 is pretty great, because this basically deals 8 the turn you play it. Okay, I can play this and they'll show up here, but they will just die. I guess I'll spend my mana efficiently and draw some cards. Yeah. Ooh, that's good. Deal 12 damage evenly divided among a unit and its allied neighbors. That sounds great. If I can isolate Sven, I'll get them down low. Oh, really? <laughs> you had to. Um, do I do this? It might be good, actually, because it'll get these killed. So I guess I miss out on a second copy of Ignite, but I also get a lot of damage in this way. Like, this creep's going to die immediately next turn to the Ignite that's already there. I have some gold now. That sounds useful. Sure, why not? Right. What do you do? Draws cards. So I want to get a blue hero in here for next turn for Mystic Flare. Um, I'll get the Skyrath Mage. Um... This might be good because it can trade with the Sven. But I don't want to throw stuff in front of Sven's cleave. I guess I can always TP out again. Oh, that's a thought, yeah. I'm going to put them both here. And then if one of them ends up in front of Sven, I can use the town portal to pull it away. And then Sven's cleave doesn't hit the things either side of it. it him. Sven's a, a dude. A big burly dude. Oh god, what is this? What is this nonsense? Ooh, more Mystic Flares. I'm happy with that. Bring me my enemies. Stop. <laughs> Stop making everything so large. Um, I could TP the Necro. At present, I don't need it in this lane. Because... Jamui? Jamui isn't going to die to the Lycan. Um, and I can put armor on it. So I could TP this so it doesn't get hit by Ursa. I take so much damage to the face, though. Do I play another gold mine? Try and get some items? Like, my heroes are all rubbish, but if I can get enough big items... Might be a good idea. Yeah, let's do that. I'll play this while I can. I'm here for the fight. Goodness me. I'm taking 15 tower damage here. I think we're doing it. I can put him back in next turn and then play in a Glody Vandal. Kind of getting my mana back and also some items that I might get off this. No one can evade my I mean, I may also just be about to lose the game. That That is entirely possible. Wait, why is he suddenly done? Oh, because of Sven's thing. Um, right, I can put Dimensional Portal in to get more things that die to Sven. I think I should probably play Ignite. Uh, and the other option to put a Vandal here and try and win the race. But I think I want Ignite. Your bodies will litter the battlefield. And then we'll give this some armor so it doesn't die. Thank god. Okay. Might be able to Mystic Flare those next turn. Lovely. Let's do it. We're going ham. Okay, this lane is looking good. These two are going to trade. That's fine. Okay. Nice bunch of heroes coming in next turn. Right. Plus two attack and pierce. I assume that means anti-armor. Plus four attack. That's probably better than pierce. Yes. Sure. Okay, we have some interaction for our crappy heroes. This is good. Right. 
I need a blue hero in this lane, but I've got one already. So I can play Mystic Flare. Um, oh, it doesn't actually kill them. Uh, minus two. Oh, that might be good, actually. Because I can put this in here as well. It does mean I can't Mystic Flare anywhere else, though. So maybe I should... Oh, I could put it up here and do it on the Ursa and his, his friend. And then... I could put Necro over here. Just to help with the snowballing. Maybe here is better. I don't want to get wrecked by this cleave, though. Let's put it over here, because I can deploy the Vandal and a Flare, basically. So the plan here is to use Skywrath Mages active to give these two, or these minus two armor. And then um, cast Mystic Flare on this. And it will, I think, kill them both? That's not bad either. Oh my god, that's big. Hero is an allied name. So this will be down to four effective health, and this will be on nine. But then it might be enough for them to die to the attacks. So that's probably good enough. And it kills this creep, which is convenient. Plus one armor and plus two. Oh, damn. Evenly divided among a unit and his allied neighbors. Okay, so it'll deal six damage to this and kill it, which is fine. What does that do? Nothing. Get out of there. Oh, god damn it. <laughs> that's so mean. Oh, that's really annoying. Oh, well, at least it killed that. Um, no, do I get some tower damage in? I think that might be a good idea, actually. What am I doing over here? Uh, oh, I can use it to make these trade. That seems like a good idea. I can even protect them as well. Cloak and a broadsword. Sounds good to me. Ooh, or I can just flare. And we'll kill this and put Sven on low. And then I can choose a combat target for there. No, I don't have the mana. Hmm. Decisions. I, th I think I'll save the broadsword. I probably am just Mystic Flaring, though. It puts Sven on, like, low enough. My opponent doesn't have any items. Although they do have plenty of other buffs in hand. Oh, I forgot about that. Ooh. So this will actually die. And Sven goes to two. I should do this before they can play any green spells. Ouch. It's kind of okay, though. Uh, I might do this just to make sure it can survive to next turn so I can use his active ability. So my opponent doesn't like deal too damage to it. Although they have no mana left. And there wasn't really a ton of direct damage. Okay. I mean this seems good. This is uh this breaks the tower this time. The imps like really spoil all the dramatic moments. Condemn a random enemy improvement. That sounds good. Is that only five? It's insane. Uh yeah. Yeah. Ooh, that's good. Get rid of that Sven. Stop it. Yeah. Can kill the Sven with it. Because the ignite will trigger at the start of the turn. So I need to make sure I have initiative going into this. <clears throat> Which is awkward because I also really want to kill this person. Alright, we can try and go for the 80 on this. Or I can try and get this one down. 
Is this worth doing? This lightning strike may actually be useful. That's a thought. If I can just break this tower this turn. Although this will this will die to either Ursa or the conscript, so there's literally no point in playing it there. Um There's not a ton of point in playing it here. I could try and go for the 80, but three extra damage a turn isn't gonna make much of a difference. Um Go on, we'll go for this one. We can try and race this lane down. Oh my goodness. That is a lot of HP. Oh no, what? They are hitting each other though, which is nice. Uh, so I get to kill the Ursa as well if I just play a weapon on it. Okay, they've decided to go face. So I could... Oh wait, I can't play and activate this at the same time anyway, right? So having the um, initiative isn't that useful. Deal two for these. Oh, that's pretty good. Um, plus four health. And more health. That seems useful, actually. Just start snowballing health on it. Goodness me. Okay, we'll do this so the Ursa dies. Wait, was that the wrong one? Oh no, I misclicked. Damn it. That's upsetting. Huh. I mean, I can replace it with... Oh, screw it. You will not read this I don't need a short sword that much. Oh. <laughs> they had the answer anyway. That's fine. Uh, I guess we're done. Do I play this? Wait a minute, I can play this and then use Battlefield Control to make the Skywrath Mage hit face. And that wins me the game. Smork. Yeah, I know, go away. Oh cool, it changes when you're about to win. Claim decks and packs. Well, that took a lot less than lot less time than the previous video. That was good. Um, I enjoyed having some more removal options there. Playing with the squishy heroes was a bit more. It's actually kind of an enjoyable challenge, actually, because I found playing with the red ones like you can make them really big, but then the game will just decide to put creeps in front of them, and you can't really do anything about it. It's not like in Duelist where you can kind of try and make it awkward for your position opponent to position around them, like. You can do some of that with the redirection cards, but um, I expect a lot of the cards in those decks don't really make it into constructed games. Um, given they're just kind of like, pay a lot of mana to make a thing slightly bigger. Like, yeah, it's permanent, but my 16 health Sven isn't going to die anyway. Um, although, again, I guess people play actual... Like, there's a card that destroys a hero, so 